Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. If you're reading my title, it says, Thus said the Lord, this impeachment is the beginning of the woes coming to the United States. Um, I don't think people understand what's happening. Everybody is so happy about the impeachment. And here's the deal. We want to be in the vein of God. We want to hear what God says. And I'm telling you right now, Thus saith the Lord, prepare yourselves. I think that we're living in a time to where people want all the um, prophecies to, <laughs> to be of good, but they're not. And, and I'm sorry. God says that now the Antichrist is getting ready to come on the scene. Do you all understand what's happening here? Um, these people are all playing in the same field. It, it's nobody different. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God will always prepare his people. Persecution is coming to the United States, especially of Christians. Things are getting ready to happen in 2020 that you have not even seen yet. And I'm telling you what God says. Prepare yourself, people of God. They hate Jesus. They hate the church. There's an attack on the church. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and do a disclaimer. Actually, I'm going to get back up on here because I have something to say. There's an attack on the church. I'm going to say it again. There's an attack on the church and, and, and y'all love to have it. So meaning that y'all believe everything. That's why there's such a, a awkward attack, a powerful attack, because we're not, we haven't been learned. We haven't learned the spirit of God, the ways of God, the laws of God. God told me to tell you, prepare for 2020. It's not going to be peaches and cream. Prepare church, prepare your family. This is a time to get close to God like never before. Point blank in the story, count the calls, choose who you will serve this day, said the Lord. God or mammon, too many of y'all are fickle. What am I saying? One minute you want to be with God, the next minute you want to do what you want to do. You can't do that. Come on somebody, hallelujah. God say, choose this day, hallelujah. This is praying time. This is fasting time. This is listening time. This is being alert time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I don't think y'all understand. It's closer than you think. What am I saying? The coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Full of power, God. It's closer than we think. The enemy is trying to get y'all to think we have lots of time. I already know it. I get it. You think you still have time to do this and do that? I'm telling you, I can feel it in the spirit. Things are getting ready to happen that you have not even seen. Do you, you know what I want to ask you? Do you really read the Bible? Do you really read the Bible? Have you had time to read the Bible? Have you had time to spend with God and say, God, what's going on? But that's all right because God has his prophets in place. His true prophets because it's not a lot of true prophets. I'm sorry. It's not a lot of true apostles. I know y'all want it to be. Most people run in game. Let me tell you what God is saying. Get close to your family. Pray for your family. Get close to God. Be obedient in this hour. Be watchful in this hour. Stay on alert in this hour. This is not the time to play games. This is not the time, people of God. I'm, I'm very, very serious. Watch who comes into your life because people have been assigned to kill you. Oh, y'all think I'm playing. Not just um, physically, but spiritually. There are assignments over that the enemy sins. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. But God said, I always send a warning. I always prepare my people. If you look, read that Bible from Genesis to Revelation, he always let us know what's going on, how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. Hallelujah. And there are some things that he holds back because he's God all by himself. Hallelujah. I'm going to be praying and fasting. And I'm not going to stop. And I pray that you do the same. This, this is the time we're in. See, the enemy is wreaking havoc this hour. So you got most people just wore out and tired. That's because you're trying to do it in the flesh. And God said that you cannot. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fast, pray. And, and some of you are, are feeling that the enemy is winning. Can I tell you something? He's doing just what God wanted him to do. Oh, come on, somebody. Nothing just happens. He can't move without God saying yes. So if God said yes, all you got to do is trust God in this hour. Oh, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Trust God. I know it looks like this way. I know it feels hard. I know you're dismayed. I know you're tired. I know you're crying. But let me tell you something. God has a plan and he has not left you. He has not forgotten you, said the Lord. God sometimes allowed the enemy to do everything in his heart so he can show everybody that I'm God. And then he'll do it in a way that everybody know it's God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. 
They all together. Trump, all those people. Y'all thinking it's a great thing. You got people. I mean, y'all just having a party. I'm telling you, woe unto America, God says. Persecution is coming. Especially of the church. Y'all sitting up there. Don't worry. Y'all are going to be able to go to the church in a minute. Oh, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for me. They're getting ready to attack the churches like never before. Y'all going to have to meet. It's, it's going back in biblical times. Y'all going to have to hide and meet. Or oh, better yet, like they're doing in China and other countries where they, where they don't even want you to say the name of Christ. Y'all don't understand what's happening. They're getting ready to take the Bibles. They're getting ready to take Christ out of everything. Why do you think it's increasing? Because here's the deal. The homosexual agenda. Everything is is coming against the kingdom of God. They want to stop the order of God. So they think by removing God that they can stop the order of God. But God say, I am God. And he's allowing it to be done because I'm just going to be real with you. God say, America has fallen. Babylon. You are in a Babylonian state. We have, a, And, and y'all not going to like me this morning, but I'm going to say it. What president signed the bill that gays can get married? What president did it? Because Daniel said that person that did it thinks to change the times and the laws of God. Hallelujah. Y'all don't want it to touch you because he black. I don't care what color you are. If you are against God, hallelujah, then I am against you. That's what I said. I said what I said. Hallelujah. That's what's wrong with the church. You're scared. You're scared because everybody want to be politically correct. We're supposed to be with what God said. And if it goes against the order of God, then it is against God. Hallelujah. Y'all don't want that to touch you. He's the one that started that ball rolling. And now you have a whole Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. And God is not pleased. And therefore he says America has fallen. And he is allowing it, God said. Because he said, we turned our back on him. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. He said, we turned our back and we didn't cry out. Hallelujah. The leaders of the church, where are you? You let it happen too. You see, you got to understand. There are some that can really change things. Those famous ones that y'all love so much. Why didn't they cry out and spare aloud when that was happening? God said, they have not lifted their voice, said the Lord. But they've lifted their pockets. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. I know you don't like me, but it's true. Where's the church in this hour? We are supposed to come against anything that's not of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're supposed to come against it. I'm going to raise my voice. I don't care who don't like me. Hallelujah. God says the church have been silent on things that we should have been sparing and cry loud and spare not. People are dying. And God said the church is at fault because we have not done what we're supposed to do. We too busy trying to get money, be famous, be a star. And God said, while my people are perishing, he says, whoa, I have that against you, pastors, preachers, teachers. I have it against you. And he said, you have your reward, that money. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what does say the Lord. So God bless you. God keep you. That's all God told me to say. He said, woe unto America. Woe unto America. He said it three times. So y'all know what that means. They're here. They're coming. Persecution. Are you ready to die for God? Because that's where we're going, whether you like it or not. So you jelly back ones, you're you going to take the chip anyway. Because guess what? You was never with God. I say what I said. Hallelujah. Because when you're with God, you don't turn your back. When you're with God, you respect God. You respect the people of God. Hallelujah. Most of y'all have fear in you. What church are you, said the Lord? We came in power. We're going out in power. The apostles, they knew one thing. God, let me tell you why he chose them. He chose them because he said, this, I'm going to be the example. I'm going to go before you. They're going to kill me. And so should they do to you. Church, what type of jelly bag people are you? Don't you understand? We're supposed to preach, teach, and die for God. Hallelujah. And if they kill us, they kill us. Hallelujah. You can't kill Jesus. You can't kill the word of God. Hallelujah. You can't kill the power of God. But you can kill the flesh. And the reason why y'all scared, because y'all scared to die in the flesh. But the apostles knew one thing. They must die so others can live. Where are you, church? But y'all so powerful. No, you scared. You scared. You scared to tell the truth. You scared to teach the truth. Because they're going to take that church and they might kill you. And so you're scared. But the remnant know we are already dead. Hallelujah to his name. But we should reign with him in heaven. Hallelujah. Nobody's scared to die. Hallelujah. Because this is what we do. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God.
prepare, God says. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.